Patricia, good morning everybody. How are you feeling today? Thank you again for joining us this morning. Has returned. I'm Sheila Mendes, your host, and in our pursuit to continue to highlight St. Lucian talent that up and rising, whatever it may be, um, Rose has led me to discovering another talent here on the island. So we have Asha Smalls in the house. How are you doing today? Good, I'm good. <laughs> so Asha is creating waves. He is a rapper. He is a producer. He also writes his own songs. So he is like multi-talented and definitely another person to keep an eye out for. But we're going to get up close and personal and we'll get to learn a lot more about him. Now, Asha, I know that right now you've released a new music video and that is Flex. So I think that's the most fitting place we could start off with. Tell us a little bit about the concept of that video and what it speaks to. Um, well, as far as the song goes, I mean, after you listen to it, it's pretty much like me going a little braggadocious. But it's just, it's not even a braggadocious tone. It's more just me being honest because a lot of the time people might come to you like other rappers and they'll ask you like, you know, listen to this stuff. Mm -hmm. and you you try to be frank and be honest and people don't like to hear the truth, you know? So to that, I just like made the song to be like, okay, this is art and if you don't like it, then you can, whatever you want to do, but doesn't bother me. Now, you know, when it comes to being in the rap game, you know, people always have to find their own style, their own, you know, something to make them distinct. So, you know, I know in your videos you go by smalls. Mm -hmm. What is distinct to you? What makes you, you? You know, if somebody pulls up a video, maybe it's just playing that they can say, oh, this is smalls. Um. If we're talking on the surface, I'd probably say just my voice. Because mm -hmm. I know I have a very distinct voice. People have told me that a lot. And then as far as the content goes, it's, I think it's because like it's always from a, from a very honest place. Now, how has the support been for you so far with the journey? It, it, was, it had a rough start because I was starting... I started it up in Form 4? Mm -hmm. No, well, Form 3. It, started a long time ago. <laughs> it started a long time ago when I think about it because a lot of things just lined up so that I happened to go into rap because my oldest brother used to listen to a lot of rap and then when I was in Form 1, I met up with a few friends that were like into Eminem here because I was the first rapper that really had me and I think that helped a lot because you know Eminem is just lyrics, lyrics, yeah. lyrics for days, you know? So I think starting from there, I just developed the interest and it grew until about from four when I recorded my first track. And then, I mean, people responded well, but it wasn't to the point where I started releasing videos and stuff like that. Because you know, when, you, when you're not really doing anything big, you just send a rapper that wants to yeah. do something. Like, it's unrealistic, honestly. So you can tell someone, like, it's a nice song, but you don't believe they'll get there. Right. But then, around, I'll say, when I was at the upper, I ended up doing a little music video like a tour of the school mm -hmm. and that got a lot of good reception I was surprised because it wasn't like that was even the, the intention but for you uh, one thing I'm liking is the fact that okay you've done your schooling because a lot of people sometimes in the, the industry and trying to do it and young person just wanting to know okay well they know where they want to be in music feel like ah, I don't need school I don't need that but yet still I think like the importance of that it is there it doesn't sure. mean that because you want to rap, you shouldn't get educated. Yeah. They come hand in hand because if you make it big, then you know there's a lot to deal with. So, I mean, from your perspective, as an up and rising star, I have great talent too. I mean, there's a lot of younger ones who want to be inspired, but for you, what are the importance? Like, I'm sure, especially the fact that you can write, you know, connects to you and being mm -hmm. educated. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, for like those watching and just think, like, okay, yeah, because I'm going to music. And, you know, this is where I want to be. Education is not important. You know, just share that linkage between that. You know, the importance of both. It's it's crazy because I I was reflecting on that maybe like a couple of weeks ago. As far as just from when I was like a little boy, mm -hmm. because my mom was on the radio. That's that's Baba Jika's mom. Oh my yeah, lord! Are you serious? Yeah, her mom. So. And I just saw her last weekend. No joke, no lie. But yeah, small yeah, Good morning, yeah, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> and they just like when 
that's your mother, like you have to have the English or not. Oh, you know, boy, like yeah, I, I yeah, wasn't. You have to be some honest, big shoes. Yeah, to be yeah. honest, I wasn't like open to speak slang like regularly until like a certain age, I could say, <laughs> because like she'd be like, that's not how you say that, and mm-hmm. it's like you you mad but it's only later in life like i'm doing this now and people right. tell me like the lyrics the lyrics the lyrics and i'm thinking about where it came from and it's like just being good at english and mm-hmm. all, you know like just applying myself in school even when i didn't know that's what it was for you know that's what it would lead to because i mean the whole producing and all that like i did i didn't want to do all that initially like i just wanted to rap but the first mixtape I had to do, the first not to do it with his laptop crash. So I was like, <laughs> and and at the and even to show how like things just like are in alignment. But a little prior to that, I said I might pick it up. So I asked my godfather if he could buy an interface for me because mm-hmm. that's what I was really missing. Like I was in a choir, the choir director lent me a mic. So when the laptop crash, I was like, I just learn to do that now because yeah, I have to do it, you know, and. Then, from there, it just kept on getting bigger. So it's like, it just had to happen, you know? Ah, nice. Yeah, so now, I like that you, meant that you, you mentioned that you were in choir. What were you doing? Were you singing? What was I your role? I was. I was right, a was very a, long time. A choir boy. Yeah. And that helps a lot because even now, too, like, if I start going on about the alignment, I'll come crazy. <laughs> because, like, all that is part of it. Yeah, I make yeah, a lot of melodic music, too. Yeah, so, to that them. came, I know that came from choir because just harmonies, melodies, like, we did that. So, yeah. all that in my subconscious, and it's like, now I'm making the music, and I understand that's what it was for, you know? Yeah. When you say, you say, Michelle, how many of you knew that Asher was in choir? You see, that's the kind of exclusive you can only get right here on this morning. Yeah, sure. So, I, I really. Tell I, that. <laughs> I you tell see, we have a way of, you know, pulling out things. So, and that's what it's about the life aside, finding and learning things that you just would not normally know. So, Asher, thank you so much for being here with us. And how can St. Michelle follow you on your social media? Um, you can follow me on Facebook. It's Smalls or my personal page, Asha Small, because I share my music both places. On Instagram, at Asha C. Small, and Twitter, at Small758. Yeah. Alright, and that's Small with the Yeah, it was me. That right. makes it cooler. Yeah, it cooler. I agree. I, 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 it's like putting eyes at the end of certain things. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. so we in sync right there. Yeah. So, Simisha, this is how we vibe in. Asha Smalls, our talent. Make sure you check out Flex. And of course, keep on showing the love it's all about 758. Okay, St. Lucia, so I'm here with Mr. Kidel Sonny. In the flesh, I'm really, 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 really excited. In the flesh, not the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Trisha? Did you have spirits for Christmas? No, I didn't okay. have spirits. We don't do that well, but for Christmas what I had, I had some food by one of my friends because um, we all know that's what I do every Christmas I choose a friend, a lucky winner and um, I come and I eat your food, that's what I do I, I cooked for Christmas, you didn't call me? no, <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know it's a lucky winner, so it's randomly chosen and um, this year it just wasn't yours, you never know, 28 it might be yours you know? mm. we'll see <laughs> so Kida, we're coming to the end of 2017 and for some it's been a very rocky year how did 2017 treat you? I think 2017 was my best year hmm. and my worst year. Um, for example, I was in a, I was put in a position to um, to deal with what you know life threw at me. Right. But it was not nice what life threw at me. So, <laughs> um, for me, I, I accomplished a lot in 2017. And sometimes, I like to look at 2017 like a tube of toothpaste. So, I look at it. I'll tell you. Uh, in 2017, I said I would release a song. Mm-hmm. And I did that right at the end of 2017. Okay, and it was bad. So you never see like when you have, you know, the two two of two bits and that's just a little bit and you just hope that you could squeeze enough out of it. Right. To pull your two brushes that I did. And um, <laughs> that's how I look at 2017. Uh, everything that I said I was going to accomplish, it happened closer to the end, uh, but it happened. So it happened. And it was good. I mean, that song was mm-hmm. bad. Problems, eh? Problems for Christmas. I did not expect that. But um, yeah, 2017 was very, very good to me and very, very bad to me as well uh, but i'm thankful for both the good and the bad okay so going into 2018 you have any expectations for the year 2018 i think is supposed to be 2018 is supposed to be the year of doing more so um more to face 
mouth with this. <laughs> yes. 2018 is supposed to be the year where I probably feel uncomfortable for the entire year because I'm doing, I'm overworking myself. Mm -hmm. uh, 2018 is supposed to be the year where I do the things that I know I can do, but it's going to be very, very difficult to do. So I'm looking forward to doing a stand up comedy show in 2018. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also looking forward to doing an actual film, like a movie, feature length film in 2018. <coughs> well, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. You came to my Yunobu, let me tell you. I say, hey, we cannot do, I had a meeting with my you know, my people, I mm -hmm. said, you know, we cannot do a movie with Trisha Lovely. So, anybody who, I mean, objected, I fired them. Not you. I like you that. Know, that's all you know, you're not doing that. That's right. <laughs> you so, you so animated. You, <laughs> You just really yes. Oh, that's that's coming cancel? from me. That's coming from me. You so animated. You are classic. People <laughs> like you. People like you. It's nice to it's nice to see you in your element. Doing Thank that. you. Yeah. So. So any resolutions? I'm not a big New Year's resolution person, but some people are. Yeah, I don't have New Year's. Res I have resolutions. But I don't have New Year's resolutions. I just have things that I figure I probably need to change. Maybe around this time, uh, Christmas, New Year's is the time where uh, it really hits you that you know what? Maybe you should really change this. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not doing it. I'm not changing it for the new year. I'm just changing it. So um, that's something that I just figure. Let me. That's some food I don't want to eat in 2018. All right. That I've been. I don't. I don't. We don't. We don't call it out. Any, I'm just saying there's something that I don't want to eat for 2018 that I've been eating. It's not good. It's not helping me out. And I feel like I need to lose weight too. All right. That's what oh, we, we could be. We could be workout buddies. I'm doing that too. All right. Yeah. So that's it. And I just feel like in 2018 as well, I need to do more. I, I just think it's the year of doing more. Um, I'm inspired by this YouTuber called Casey Neistat, and um, he has a tattoo on his hand. It's not a, it wasn't, he didn't do it properly, but it's there. It's, it's like he just took a, ta a tattoo gun or a tattoo machine, whatever they call it, and he just wrote two more on his hand. And ever since he put that tattoo, that's what he's been doing, doing more, and it's very, very successful. doesn't matter what you do, as long as you do more. And I, I don't know, I, I'm, I, I'm big on that, so for me there should never be a time where i'm not doing something that's good that's that's a very good outlook for the new year so new year same old keto but I'm doing better more. yes let me keto do it. 2.0 <laughs> we're doing more so we're getting our tattoos and we're doing more i'm scared i don't know i'm a no, role model don't be scared. you can't really do these things and show people tattoos and things so you have to live the, the right life in front of the camera when the camera off that's a different kid eh? but as long as the camera on of course man stay in school do more. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard it say, Musha, 2000, 2018, sorry, yes. is the year of doing more. Kidel 2.0 is coming and we're That's all right. anxious. We can't wait. I know I can't wait. That's especially right. <clears throat> for that movie. Let me tell you, we turn up. As a matter of fact, it's not even Kidel 2.0, it's the Kidel Plus. You know, they're the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus and the Kidel Plus. We didn't come to play. Um, on that note. <laughs> Ooh, thanks for stopping my room. Thank you for having Look me. Look, I'm putting you on sideways. Let me tell you, I can't spend too much time around you. You see what I have to go through? Yeah. Thank you so much, Singush. The AC on, the AC on, the AC on. Thank you, Kiel. Yeah. Alright, no problem. High five before we go? No? Yay! Bam. Bam, you can sit off the camera.